Good morning students. So today we are going to deal with a very very important topic as far as machines in general is concerned and pulleys in particular is concerned. As you can see the heading over here it says block and tackle system of pulleys. Now if you recall in the previous lecture we had started with the pulleys and we had discussed a single fixed pulley in which there was only a single pulley okay and it was fixed okay so we studied MA value we studied VR value for a single fixed pulley then we converted it into uh, a single movable pulley we studied MA and VR values for that also then we compared the two and we found out that each of them individually had one advantage but if we combine them together we could get both advantages together in one place okay now that was a very basic pulley to begin with. Now we will be going into a much more complex uh, design if you can call that. It is known as block and tackle system. So I have drawn two diagrams over here. I will deal uh, uh, with the, both of them individually. Okay. So first of all let us understand why are we studying block and tackle system and what is block and tackle system. So. Uh, you must already remember that tackle is referred to the rope that runs around the pulleys. Okay, so tackle part is understood. Now, what we have to understand here is the block. Okay, so if you uh, start with this particular diagram, that's an uh, obviously an incomplete diagram that I have uh, drawn. We will uh, draw the tackle together over here in this particular diagram. So, what is the block word? over here in this particular diagram. So if you see this particular part and this particular part, these are the two blocks of this entire pulley system. Okay. And if you notice carefully, the other observation that you will uh, notice or find is that this is the fixed support to which these two fixed pulleys are attached. So basically the upper block is not going to move up and down. Okay. The upper block is not going to be able to move up and down okay whereas if you actually have a look at the lower block lower block it is free to move okay as of now it is free to move because it is not attached to the rigid support okay so in essence all blocks and tackle systems will have different blocks blocks meaning what this block and this block so each block will comprise of n number of pulleys okay it can uh, vary in number uh, like for example you can have a look over here these two blocks both blocks have two pulleys each whereas in this particular system of block and tackle you have two blocks but then the upper block has three pulleys in it whereas the lower block has only two pulleys okay so in as far as this diagram and this diagram they are concerned both diagrams or both systems of pulleys have two blocks in them the upper blocks and the lower blocks okay so what is the difference then the difference is that in this particular upper block you only have two pulleys whereas in this particular upper block you have three pulleys okay so you can have equal number of pulleys in the upper and the lower blocks or you can have one extra in the upper block okay so this is the basic understanding of the block and tackle system now the reason why i had left the tackle part is because i want to draw it in front of you okay so now please remember that the cases that we are going to discuss now will be according to this instruction which is direction of effort will be downwards okay so for convenience for ease of pull we will first concentrate on the downward direction of the effort okay so here obviously you can see is the load which is hanging okay so if we are going to have the effort in the downward direction kindly note that we must draw we must start drawing the tackle like this now you see this is the direction of the effort that we want okay downward directions okay so then it goes down utilizes the bottom most pulley goes up then again comes down 
and this is how it will be attached okay so if i uh, make a slight correction over here in terms of the drawing part this is how it will look much better okay so if you see this is what i am calling the tackle okay and it starts from here and it ends over here or you can say it starts from here runs around all the pulleys and then reaches on to the effort side obviously the person who wants to pull will be standing at this particular end what is absolutely essential over here is in this particular diagram is for you to understand that all the pulleys must be utilized okay so all the pulleys the tackle should be running up around all the pulleys okay you should not be leaving any pulley out okay number one number two if you notice since there is a load hanging over here load will have some weight okay so because of that weight what will happen is since a person over here standing over here is holding this particular rope tight and the load from the other end is trying to pull the whole system down so there will be tension developing in this entire tackle okay so because of that tension you must draw all these strands or parts of the same tackle straight or taut or tight okay you cannot draw the tackle like this okay you cannot draw the tackle like this because in all examples of practical life in all such examples you will never see that a rope or a tackle if it is uh, stretched from two different ends it will remain loose that is never going to take place it will always be tight okay so this is not the way to draw the tackle okay so that was just an example that i was giving so these are the two things now what should be next in this diagram the next thing should be the marking of the tension and if you remember i have already told you as long as there is only one tackle the tension will also be the same in all the parts of the tackle okay so since load is acting in the downward direction all tension directions should be opposite so they should all be directed upwards okay so i am going to start marking t over here then i'll mark t over here then i'll mark tension t over here then i'll mark tension t over here and obviously one tension over here okay so this is how the diagram is going to get completed if you want you can draw these parts of the tackle using uh, your uh, uh, small scale also okay and obviously you can use the compass to draw these pulleys now one very important aspect of this diagram drawing if you notice is the size of the pulleys that i have drawn start let us start from the uppermost block okay this is the upper block this is the lower block okay in the upper block starting from the topmost pulley when you start going down you can see even in this diagram the size of the pulleys is getting reduced okay why because if you are going to have the same size pulleys over here then obviously these two tackles will not be separate they will rub against each other and it will not be an efficient system or the pulley system okay so it is absolutely essential for you to keep this logical point in mind that whenever you draw pulleys in the uppermost block you start going down in size now the opposite will happen when you are drawing the pulleys of the lower block you can see in the lower block when you are going down the size of the pulley has to increase okay that also comes from common sense okay so that will require a little bit of a practice okay now coming back to uh, this uh, block and tackle system this obviously is a machine now okay so this machine is going to pull this load up so for all machines we must always study the value of ma now ma again has the same formula load upon the effort now the only part left for us to analyze is what is this l being supported by so if you see this load is being supported by how many parts or how many strands of the tackle so you see one two three and four these four parts of the tackle the tackle is the same overall okay these are different parts of the tackle okay or the strands of the tackle okay so 
1, 2, 3, 4. So we will easily write 4p as in place of the load. Okay. Similarly, on the effort side, that's quite easy for you to understand. It's single t. T and P gets cancelled, so you are going to get a mechanical advantage value of 4. Once again, mechanical advantage value of 4 means MA equal to 4 means that MA is well greater than 1. Okay, which means this system is going to act like a force multiplier. Okay, so it is going to make your work easy. Again, in much more simpler terms, let us understand what that this particular thing means. MA formula is L upon E and the value is 4. Okay, so from this what we can get is E will become L by 4. Okay, simple exchange of these. E goes to that side, right hand side and 4 goes down over here. Now, Supposing I have to put a load of 100 newtons, okay? Supposing the load is 100 newtons, how much will be your effort? Effort will be 100 divided by 4, which is going to come out to be 25 newtons only, okay? So this person only has to apply 25 newtons of effort to lift a load of 100 newtons. How has this become possible? This has become possible because of the use of this machine which is the block and tackle system consisting of two blocks with two pulleys in each block okay and a single tackle okay please remember that the direction of effort is downwards okay we can also have the direction of the effort pointing upwards but in that case we will have a different set of scenarios so we will study that later so as far as this is concerned this ma value comes out to be 4 now talking of the vr value obviously vr value if you see once again if this load moves up by 1 centimeter please try to understand because this is a little uh, logical okay if the load is to move up by 1 centimeter each part of the tackle present over here 1 2 3 4 each of these tackles will have to move up by 1 1 centimeter so that means one here one here one here and one here okay so that essentially means that this entire system will have to move up by 4 centimeter in i'm talking in terms of the tackle okay so if this load is to move up by 1 centimeter, that is only going to be possible if each of these parts of the tackle move up by 1 1 centimeter each. So what will that result in? That will result in an overall shifting at this end as 4 centimeters because 1, 2, 3, 4. At 4 different parts of the tackle, you have movement of 1, 1 each. That makes an overall movement on the effort side to be 4 centimeters. So, the velocity ratio formula, which is again dE by dL, the formula is never going to change. dE value, which is the distance moved on the effort side, is 4, whereas the distance moved on the load side was 1 centimeter so the velocity ratio value also comes out to be 4 which will once again bring us to the efficiency for this particular machine which will be again MA upon VR so we have MA value as 4 and VR value also as 4 so efficiency becomes 1 or if you want to express it in terms of percentage it will become 100 percent once again you must have understood already we have explained this a number of times this is the ideal machine scenario or the ideal case scenario what will happen in the practical case in the practical case efficiency value will never be equal to one it will always be less than one or it will always be less than 100 percent because there will be losses in terms of the friction losses there you can you must also see that we have only taken load value in this formula of mechanical advantage we have actually uh, you know taken the weights of these two pulleys which are also hanging on the rope as negligible okay so 
these two pulleys obviously will have a little weight doesn't matter how less but they will have certain weight okay but that we are not incorporating that is why this efficiency value has come out to be 100 percent okay so in practical cases it will never be 100 percent it will always be less than 100 percent so can we call this particular block and tackle system as a good force multiplier yes obviously because you can see the ma value is much greater than one it is in fact four so it is reducing your effort to four times for lifting something as heavy as 100 newtons you will only require 25 newtons okay now we are going to move to the second diagram that we had drawn now this uh, diagram if you see the upper block has three pulleys the below block or the lower block has two pulleys again we have to run the tackle in this particular system to complete the diagram remembering that direction of effort will be downwards okay so once again it is always better to start like this from here okay so the direction of the effort is downwards okay so it goes around this pulley and goes around like this okay so you can just ensure that it runs around properly okay so this is how it runs and then it goes up around here comes down goes around this and this okay if you can uh, if you notice carefully there are two hooks that are available okay so this is how the diagram gets completed okay it is always easier for you to start from the from this end although you can start from this end also but then if the effort is to be in downward direction it is always easier if you start from that okay so check have i used all the pulleys yes the tackle is running across all these pulleys okay so the next thing obviously since load is there at one end and at the other end there is a person who is uh, obviously uh, doing the pulling thing okay so this tackle will be tight or the word is taut t a u t okay this word taut means tight okay so the tackle has to be tight okay this tackle must be tight okay now the moment it is tight the next thing that we have to do is draw the tensions okay this is very important the directions of the tension and the marking is absolutely essential okay so you will have to mark the tension in all the parts of the tackle okay what is the direction of the tackle again uh, the, the direction of the tension again the direction of the tension will all be in the upward direction because the load is pulling in the downward direction tension is always opposite to the load so you see the next thing that we have to analyze is is this diagram complete now yes it is complete we have marked all the tensions we have uh, shown the effort we have shown the load so the next thing that comes to our mind is the mechanical advantage value of this particular block and tackle system so this is also a block and tackle system l upon e now check l load is supported by how many strands of tackle strands of tackle means parts of tackle so i'll write that word also over here you have the word strands okay or parts of tackle okay so strands or parts of tackle so you see tackle is single only okay see this tackle is running right from here up to this particular point so the rope is only one the only thing is because of the constant running across the pulleys it gets divided into different strands or different parts okay check how many strands of tension are supporting the load so you see one two three four five this time there are five parts of the tackle which are supporting the load if you remember in the previous case where we had two and two pulleys in both the blocks over there load was supported by four parts of the tackle but here load is supported by five parts of the tackle so i will write 5t here and obviously effort is equal to single t t and t gets cancelled you get a, a mechanical advantage value of 5 now coming to vr 
Vr again has a formula dE by dL. So again take an example. If the load goes up by one centimeter, that means this is dL that I am writing. Okay, this is dL that I am writing. So if the load is to go up by one centimeter. All these individual parts of the tackle will have to go up by 1, 1 centimeter each. So, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4 and plus 1, 5. So, overall the displacement at this end will come out to be 5 centimeter and that is what will be DE because that's the effort side movement. So, I can easily write down 5 upon 1 which is going to give me a value of 5. Again, efficiency in an ideal case scenario, we have MA upon VR, 5 upon 5 which comes out to be 1 or 100%. Once again, this is the ideal case scenario. Okay? In all practical cases, efficiency will be less than 1 or efficiency will be less than 100% in the practical cases okay in all practical cases so this will only be possible when ma becomes less than 5 vr will not change even in the practical case scenario vr will remain 5 okay so vr remains 5 there are if you can see there are 5 pulleys over here so the ma and vr values are actually coming out to be 5 in the previous example, there were four pulleys in all and the MA value and the VR values were coming out to be four. Okay, So that means in the block and tackle system, please listen carefully. In all blocks and tackle systems, whenever the effort is in the downward direction, your MA value and your VR value will match with the number of pulleys used so in the previous case there were four pulleys used so ma value was four vr value was also four here in this particular case we have five pulleys total so ma value is five vr value is five so now when we generalize we can say that ma value will be equal to the number of pulleys okay so we can also write VR and MA values both will be equal to the number of pulleys in the block and tackle system. In the block and tackle system. But there is an important condition please note. The direction of effort must be downwards because there will be an example in which I will show you that if you change the direction of the effort to the upward direction then this formula will not hold true okay so vr is equal to ma is equal to number of pulleys in the block and tackle system whenever effort is in the downward direction okay whenever the effort is in the downward direction okay again this is obviously an ideal case that we are discussing when we will take up uh, an example uh, right after this i'll take up an example to show you that in practical cases efficiency value will be less than one okay or less than 100 percent okay so here we have one question based on exactly what we have studied just now the block and tackle system okay so you see in a block and tackle system of three pulleys okay now this very line itself is telling us that there are total three pulleys in action okay and it's a block and tackle system so obviously you will have two blocks okay and there will be a rope also okay so three pulleys means obviously the top one or the top block will have two pulleys the bottom one will have one so let us quickly draw the diagram the diagram was not obviously given in the question so you will have to draw the diagram so i am going to draw this is one pulley and then this is the other pulley that i have okay so let this be a little larger in size okay see all this drawing will come with practice only okay do not think that you will get the exact drawing 
in the very first time that you draw okay so something like this okay now the effort will be in the downward direction unless stated otherwise so you see in a block and tackle system this is the system of three pulleys so there are three pulleys a load of 75 kgf so this load i will put the value 75 kgf is the value of the load is raised by using an effort of 25 kgf okay so 25 kgf is the effort that is being applied now you see let us first complete the diagrams and i will tell you if the drawing of the diagram was really very essential for this question or not you can solve this question without drawing the diagram also now you see how first part says calculate ma okay now ma value is obviously the formula for ma is l upon e you know the value of l also you know the value of e also so you can directly put 75 and 25 you will get an ma value of 3 okay and since the number of pulleys are 3 the vr value obviously straight away becomes 3 third part the efficiency is ma upon vr okay so ma value is 3 the vr value is also 3 gets cancelled you get 1 or 100% okay so even without drawing the diagram you could have solved this question but please always especially in the beginning draw the diagram so that you have a better understanding of what is going on now you see we will complete this diagram by drawing the tackle also okay so let us start this time i'm going to start from this end or if you want you can start from this end also okay something like this you have effort being uh, somebody pulling from this particular end in the downward direction so goes around this pulley okay you can use a scale to draw this uh, better okay so this goes down around this pulley goes around this pulley and then comes down okay have we utilized all the three pulleys yes we have utilized all the three pulleys are the uh, parts of the tackle tight yes they are tight because there is load at one end the effort at the other end is the tension marked no tension is not marked so we will mark the tension obviously it will be opposite to the direction of the load so it is all ET. okay so this completes the diagram and as you can see if you want generally also you can put the value of l l is supported by one two three three parts of the tackle so l will become 3t and effort will become t so t t gets cancelled ma value should be 3 and it is coming out to be 3 so this is an ideal case scenario okay this is an ideal case scenario and you can see that total three pulleys have been used and the ma and vr values are also coming out to be 3 so this once again that formula which we studied generalized formula that for all block and tackle systems whenever the effort is in the downward direction your ma and vr values will come out to be equal to the number of pulleys used so there are three pulleys used the values have come out to be three please remember the conditions ideal case scenario this is and the effort has to be in the downward direction this is your block and tackle system okay now this next question that i have taken will be a practical case scenario you will observe that okay till now we have basically been focusing on the block and tackle systems in ideal case scenarios okay and when the effort is in the downward direction so what did we study till now what we studied is that in all blocks and tackle systems when the effort is in the downward direction the ma and the vr values that is the mechanical advantage and the velocity ratio values will come out to be equal to the number of pulleys okay so if for example we had five pulleys in such system if we have five pulleys here so in the ideal case scenario ma and vr value should come out to be five each okay but again please remember that was the ideal case scenario here is a case 
which will give you some different values okay had this been an ideal case your ma values ma value as well as vr value should come out to be 5 let us check whether it is coming out to be 5 now you see let's read the question first in a block and tackle system of 5 pulleys so two blocks are there total 5 pulleys are there a load of 4500 newtons is raised okay so this load value has been given as 4500 newton so this much load has to be lifted by using an effort of 1000 newton in the downward direction okay so the effort has to be in the downward direction so let us quickly complete the diagram effort i am drawing it in the downward direction and the value according to the question is 1000 newton so it goes around this pulley remember there are two things to be kept in mind the rope has to be tight and all the pulleys have to be used okay so runs around this pulley goes around this okay then comes down here then comes down here and here is what you have okay so this part if you draw it with the help of a scale it will come out to be better okay this is how it will look okay this is how it will look okay so see whether you have utilized all the pulleys or not yes all the pulleys have been utilized because the tackle is running around all the pulleys okay so that is the diagram which is still incomplete because we have not marked the tensions Load is in the downward direction, so the tensions will be in the upward direction. Will the tensions be different or same? The tensions will all be same. That is T, T, T everywhere. Why? Because, remember, it is the same tackle. One and only one tackle which is going around all these pulleys and ending over here. If you start from here. Okay. So, T, 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 we have marked. Now, this is the completed diagram which will always help you in solving. Maybe this is not essential to solve this particular question. Like I told you in the previous uh, solution also, this diagram may not be absolutely necessary to solve this question because if you see, your MA value that has been asked in the first part has a formula L by E. The values for load and effort are both given. So you can simply put the values, you will get the mechanical advantage value. But then again, for a better understanding, for a practical perspective, for better visualization, it is always essential that you draw the diagram. In your board examination, not always do you get such questions. You can sometimes uh, get questions in which they will give you the two tackle, uh, two uh, blocks and one tackle and they will ask you to draw the tackle okay so you may have to practice all that and obviously then mark the tensions okay so each uh, question suppose if it carries uh, four parts one part will be for drawing the tackle one part fill, uh, one mark for uh, the drawing of the correct uh, correct directions of the tensions then another part for ma then the last part for vr something like this okay so each part will carry one mark okay so this is the completed diagram now the reason why i picked up this particular question go back and recall whenever we have a block and tackle system with effort in the downward direction your ma and vr values both in ideal case scenario should come out to be equal to the number of pulleys there are five pulleys so ma value should have come out to be five why is it coming out to be 4.5 because please remember i told you that was the ideal case scenario in which ma comes out to be exactly equal to the number of pulleys in all practical scenarios ma will be less than 5 or less than the number of pulleys okay so here you have a practical scenario okay so you can write this down this is a practical case scenario okay and obviously as I told you, the velocity ratio value will not be affected. Velocity ratio value is equal to the number of strands of the tackle supporting the load or number of pulleys. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, either ways. So, you have VR value as 5. 
so obviously then the efficiency value will come out to be as you notice after putting the values it will not come out to be 1 this time it will not be 100% this time because your MA value because of the practical case scenario has become less than 5 okay so now when you do the calculation you can have uh, 0 0.9 when you divide this you will get a value of 0 0.9 or if you want to put this in percentage terms multiply this by 100 so we, you will get an efficiency of 90% so this is less than 100% so that makes it a practical case scenario okay so that is a practical case scenario for you again the overall setup is the same it is a block and tackle system the effort is in the downward direction but then only thing is that the MA value has come out to be not equal to the number of pulleys okay slightly less and because of that the efficiency also comes out to be less than 100% okay so till now what we have discussed are block and tackle systems when the effort is in the downward direction okay so please remember always that if it is an ideal case scenario in a block and tackle system with effort in the downward direction MA value and VR values will be generalized by the formula MA equal to number of pulleys used or we are equal to number of pulleys used now we are going to go to a case of block and tackle system in which the effort will be in the upward direction okay okay so here is one such case when effort is in the upward direction in the block and tackle system so again for example i have taken up a block and tackle system there are two blocks having two pulleys each in them again tackle part i have left for us to draw together okay but keeping in mind that this time the effort has to be in the upward direction okay so please note how we will start now this time the effort has to be in the upward direction like this so that means this time you will not start from the topmost pulley you will start from the bottom most pulley so it goes up making sure that you utilize all the pulleys available okay so this is the completed diagram with obviously the tension parts remaining so i will mark them as t t t t t okay so this is the completed diagram as you can see it is still a block and tackle system okay there is still only one tackle that has been used but the difference is effort is in the upward direction this time so again this time we will check whether MA and VR values they actually come out to be equal to number of pulleys or not okay so as you can see there are four pulleys that we have used here so that generalized formula that we studied MA equal to number of pulleys, VR equal to number of pulleys, we will see that this formula no longer is applicable over here. Okay, so this particular thing we will uh, check just now. If you see, we will once again develop or deduce the values of MA first and then VR. So MA again the formula is L upon E. Now check. Load is supported by how many parts of the tackle. Remember parts of the tackle or strands of the tackle. So you see this time this load is supported on this T also. Okay so that makes it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tensions. So just because the effort is in the upward direction, because of this change in the diagram, this time the load is getting supported on an extra part of the tackle. So that makes it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5T. And obviously your effort is equal to single T. So T and T gets cancelled. You have MA value coming out to be 5. Whereas the number of pulleys is only 4. Okay. So that 
gives us an idea that whenever the effort is in the upward direction then MA value will not be equal to the number of pulleys used it will be one extra okay so MA value comes out to be 5 and as you can see the velocity ratio value will come out to be also equal to 5 how can you explain that again you see if the load moves up by 1 centimeter there will be subsequent 1 centimeter movements all across the different parts of the tackle so 1 2 3 4 5 centimeter overall the effort will have to move by 5 centimeter so we are uh, actually it has that same formula de upon dl so you can get put by putting the values of de as 5 and dl as 1 this is how you get this value of 5 okay again obviously there will be no units because these are the ratios so the last thing remaining here is efficiency value which is given by again ma upon vr so 5 upon 5 that gives you a value of 1 or 100 percent again this is the ideal case scenario that we have in practical case scenarios VR will remain 5 but MA value will become slightly less than 5 as you just saw in the previous numerical okay so this video or this particular lecture i will end over here hoping and uh, trust and trusting you with the responsibility that you will go through this particular lecture in part, uh, in particular in quite detail and you will give enough time to go through this lecture to understand what block and tackle system is what are the various important points that i have mentioned okay that the tackle parts have to be all tight the direction of the tensions have to be marked they have to be in opposite direction to that that of the load then all these effort being in the uh, downward direction effort being in the upward direction what are the different scenarios involved okay so once you are thorough with this particular lecture then we will have one more lecture left on the same pulley system where we will see another possible combination of pulleys uh, in which we will have one fixed pulley and a number of movable pulleys okay over there you will not have a single tackle or a single rope running you may have two ropes three ropes or two tackles three tackles okay so in that case the tension will not be represented by t t t all the time it can be t1 t2 t3 depending upon how many tackles have been used okay so please go through this lecture very well and try and follow what i have taught thank you